Today we're going to be putting in our locks. Um, we bought them from RV Lock. They weren't cheap. Um, but there's really not a whole lot of options for Class A and Class C. Because we want in a keyless lock system. Type in the number, get in. Um, it also comes with a fob. Um, we like this because the actual cab part of our RV only has a normal key. There's no fob, so we can't like remotely lock it, unlock it. We also bought these. So this is our old lock that's on all of our storage compartments on the outside. Um, usually this is like a generic lock and you just have a basic key that unlocks pretty much all RVs. <laughs> Unfortunately ours is um, new so someone else put that on the last owner and then they didn't give us the key for it. So we can't actually lock them. Fortunately they're all unlocked. So we're taking those off and we're putting these on which are keyed the same as our keyless entry here. Which makes that super convenient. Got them from RV Lock. It was like $300 total. This plus four of these. Um, and you don't need a whole lot of tools to get them off. These are pretty simple. So I'll show you a video of that. Basically, half inch wrench, adjustable wrench, and a flathead screwdriver is really just to get the old one off because it has like a snap ring on it that you gotta pop off. Besides that, um, we're gonna take a shot at it and see how it goes. See you there. All right, our old lock. We're going to remove that guy. So it's got a snap ring here. So we're just gonna pop that guy off. Get a flathead screwdriver, get up in there. That'll come off. So that'll pop this guy off. We're gonna save this guy because we found that our new ones are too short to make it to this lip. Then we gotta unscrew this guy. So we'll just get an adjustable wrench on him. Last time we filmed this, you couldn't see anything. And then this should just slide out. And I think I'm going to keep this plastic piece. So I'll pop that back in. And use that for our next one. So our new one. It's got everything we need in this little package. This is the piece that I mentioned was too short. So we're going to use the old one. All right, so let's take this and let's go ahead and put this little gasket on it. However that goes on. this guy on we got to figure out which way we want it to face because it's like our little handle one thing you got to consider is when this lock spins this back which way is actually going to close the latch so I think that'll close the latch that'll be open so we're gonna try that so we're gonna stick this guy through here and then we'll pull it up so we can get to the back side. I got a little spacer there. And then we'll stick this nut on to hold it all in place. And then, so this is the new tab that would go on it, but it's too short, it won't won't make it to the edge. We're going to put the old tab back on. And it kind of has an angle to it. We want to stick it to one where it closes a little tighter. This is where we got to lock it and unlock it and make sure it is actually going to be the direction we want it to be in. And then you just put this little nut on. So we're just going to tighten this guy down. Alright, let's 
tight enough, I think. So, there we go. That's our lock insulation. The nice thing is these come with like a little handle. The new ones do. The new ones, yeah. Oh, sorry, it's locked. Like, whoa, whoa. There's a little handle. It just makes it easier to lift than trying to grab this guy, which isn't that bad either, but there you go. New lock, the keys match our main lock, and then this one actually keeps it nice it's and close. Like, mm -hmm. Cool. And that's it, easy enough. So this is how we currently have to get in, since we don't have a key to our front door. We have to crawl through here to get our front door unlocked. Ta da! Looks like we got four screws. Sit on either side. Just pop out. It looks like there's two screws here. Let's go ahead and take these off. One thing I've noticed on this RV is I walk around with the screwdriver. Everything's loose. Everything. The handles to everything. I've, I've tightened up so many screws on this thing. All right, so once you get these screws out, I'm hoping that it'll just slide out. All right, should I put this new guy in? I think it seems pretty self-explanatory, but... Hopefully everything fits. Hitting at the top here. Pop back out and see if see if there's any kind of adjustment on it. The problem is these are like too low. This is hitting the top of the hole. <clears throat> this does not look like it has any room for adjustment. So I may have to shave the top of the hole open just a little bit. I'm going to shave the top of this hole three-eighths of an inch up and then try to pop it up in. So I guess we'll show you that in a second. This will be the uh, first sketchy change for our RV. <laughs> a lot off the top. <laughs> <laughs> See if it fits now. Looks like it snowed on you. I'm really hoping it fits and that it uh it didn't cut it too big. <laughs> like the biggest. Biggest sphere. Attach shorter screws through edge of door and a new handle. I had to like push the handle in a little because the holes weren't quite lined up. So it should beep when we connect this cable. <laughs> Assuming the batteries they sent with it are I'm gonna line these 
locks up the little red side. To Can't see the hole anywhere, which is nice. I was worried about that, especially after I cut it. Locks on. We ended up having to adjust this guy because the pins were hitting it too high, and then to move it around, basically I ended up loosening it and closing it until it closed nice and then tightening it down. So that took a little bit, and I had to bend this out some because the pin wasn't far enough on the new one. But hopefully it closes well now. Yeah, really nice now. Default code is just one, two, three, four, and then lock. Nice and secure. And then yeah, I mean, overall, I'm pretty happy with the install. Um, it wasn't too hard. It's not as plug and play as we'd hope. It probably is on a lot of models, but on our Mini Winnie it wasn't. And I'm still gonna have to like, it's hard to see now that I tighten it down, but the gasket goes like right here. It doesn't go like here. It's just, it assumes your hole is the size, but the hole in mine is just like a half inch wider. So the gasket doesn't cover. So if water gets right here, it's just gonna roll down and then go through that little crack and then into my door. So I'm gonna have to, do some probably silicone across around the outside of it just to make it a little more waterproof which may not be a bad idea for anyone but besides having to cut the hole bigger adjust this guy and add some silicone to it relatively easy um, if it's a perfect fit all you need is a number two Phillips head screwdriver if it's not then you need a jigsaw and some some ingenuity I guess but yeah works seems nice keyed with the rest of our stuff so really convenient and seems pretty tough I mean we'll see after a year of use but besides that I mean RV lock keyless easy enough